What's up everyone, my name is TyranitarTube and just a few hours ago we received another batch of leaked Koro Koro scans. The scan features completely new things which have never been seen before in a Pokemon game. By this I mean mega evolutions to both normal and legendary Pokemon, new Pokemon and much more. Let's look at the first scan. So this scan shows 6 Pokemon we know. Blaziken, Lucario, Absol, Mawile, Mewtwo and Ampharos. Around these 6 Pokemon we have altered versions of these Pokemon. The Japanese text at the top translates to something along the lines of Megaforms. These altered Pokemon are a new form of the known Pokemon called Megaforms, and the new Megaform Pokemon have stronger stats, much better abilities, and new typing. We'll go in order. First we have Mega Blaziken. Mega Blaziken is a fire and fighting type Mega Pokemon. He has the ability Speed Boost, which raises the user's speed stat by one stage at the end of every turn. It is speculated that Mega Blaziken will have a higher speed stat. Mega Lucario is fire and fighting as well, just as Mega Blaziken is. So it's clear that he loses his steel attribute and gains a fire attribute when he undergoes this form change. He has the special ability Adaptability, which increases the strength of stab attacks to 2 times the power. Mega Mawile is a steel and fairy type, just as the normal form of it is. It has the special ability Huge Power, which raises its attack stat. And because of this, it's speculated that Mega Mawile will have a higher attack stat than normal Mawile. Following that, we have Mega Absol. Mega Absol stays with its Mono Dark typing, but gets the powerful ability Magic Bounce, which reflects status changing moves. Next is Mega Ampharos, one of the most interesting out of the Mega Pokemon that we know so far. Mega Ampharos obtains a new Dragon attribute, making it Electric and Dragon. It's the first Electric and Dragon type Pokemon and has the specialized ability Mold Breaker, which negates abilities during battle. And finally, we have Mega Mewtwo, also known as Awakened Mewtwo. Unexpectedly, it's not part fairy as most fans speculated. Mega Mewtwo stays purely psychic but gets the special ability Insomnia which prevents sleep. The common misconception on the internet was the fact that people were assuming that these were 4th evolutions, causing a lot of speculation and negativity. The thought that they are breaking the original Pokemon evolution chain disappointed fans. It is still somewhat unconfirmed whether it is a new form or an evolution, but Awakened Mewtwo, being a mega Pokemon, supports the idea that these are new forms. As you can see in the movie, Mewtwo is able to switch between forms, which cannot happen with evolutions, unless mega evolutions have a different aspect to them. The Mega Pokemon revealed so far seem to be only from generations 1 to 4, which is leading fans to thinking that they may only boost older Pokemon, but this is probably just a coincidence. If you buy Pokemon X and Y as it's released in October, you will be able to download a Torchic holding a new item called Blazikanite, which is obviously a specialized item that will uniquely allow Pokemon to turn Mega, and this is clearly gonna allow Torchic to eventually become Mega Blaziken. There is also information about a Megastone item, but not much is known about that yet. As these scans are officially revealed next week, we'll be able to confirm its use. These scans also revealed a new character called Koroni, who is a gym leader who knows a lot about Mega Evolutions. And because of this, she will probably use Mega Pokemon herself, and thus be one of the last gym leaders. Personally, I think this is an interesting take Game Freak is making, and I feel it has the potential to be good. They're trying to keep the 3 stage Pokemon chain, but still open paths for older Pokemon. Maybe they want to try something new instead of evolving Pokemon again, and it really does rekindle your affection for these older Pokemon. And if that wasn't enough to blow your minds, a few new Pokemon were also revealed. You can check out the video on those 3 new Pokemon by clicking the annotation. Anyways, what do you think? Are Mega Pokemon a result of an evolution or a form change? Let me know in the comments below and also be sure to leave a rating with your opinions. Be sure to subscribe to stay updated and also subscribe to the Pokemon X and Y show for Pokemon exclusive content.